I'm Mir. I'm Sophie. And today we are watching Band, Band of, of Brothers. Brothers, guys. As you can see, and we're getting to the episode that y'all been talking about that's gonna really stir things up. Uh, Bastinage, uh, however you pronounce that, if I said it incorrect, correct me if I'm wrong. Make sure you smash that like button and comment and subscribe to join us on our journey. And guys, don't forget to check our description for our Patreon. We have full length movie and show reactions. Also, no sync required. And to make it easy, it's only one subscription. So don't forget to check that out. And let's get right into it. We were dug in on that ridge. Chairmans knew right where we were, and they really gave us a shellacking. Even today, a real cold night, we go to bed, and our, our, my wife will tell you that the first thing I'll say is, I'm glad I'm not in Baston. So this is not good. The German, they dropped off where the Germans was at, which benefits the Germans, not them. So that is very bad. Just by how the last one ended and how, how they're talking about it now, we are not about to witness necessarily why is it is that a finger what is that that's his finger you thought he picked up a finger it, i'm not gonna lie in the moment it looked it looked like that's exactly what had happened this is about to be bad no look it's snowing which means they're definitely into winter no nah, they in the summer stop no, oh, that's horrible. Oh my gosh. Yo, that's terrible. I don't even know what to what to say about that crime scene. Like I don't even know what happened. What they fall and then like just freeze to death there? Like or they or they probably got shot or something. I wonder what he's using to mix, to like paint his face more white. I think he was about to shave. Really? But I could be wrong. I don't think this is the matter of when someone would like choose to shave. Gents, y'all know General McAuliffe, acting division commander. Give it to me straight. We've been taking ground in one position, General, losing it in another. Now it looks like a standoff. We're digging in on the edge of the forest. He's really focusing on that med medic right there. Yeah. Since the beginning, I wonder, <clears throat> just to just to say that, just to put it out there. The first battalion just pulled out of Foy. Krauts on their tail. Tanks, artillery, got no backup. There's a lot of shit heading this way. <laughs> okay. Well, all I learned is that they're in the stand. They're in the standoff right now. They're getting bombed, or you know, getting things dropped on them. So. No advancing, no positive things to say right now. It's just not looking good. Yeah, this is it. So, uh, what'd you get? I got, uh, I got this. I got myself a crap bandage. You know, really showing that there's a lack of supplies right now with the yeah. medic axing around and using even the, the, the opposing people's stuff. I mean, I feel like regardless, like, they always pick up whatever they find. But I get what you're saying, like, the emphasis on it. They're out there. Depend on it. Have a job, Doc? Go on. I, I need scissors. You got oh, scissors wow. sharp scissors. I didn't realize that was his helmet at first. That is so crazy. That's tough, though. What you really that's doing? I was about to say, that's so creative. You had to get creative in conditions like this. How'd you morphing, guys? Oh. Oh. You all right? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Honestly, I'm never prepared for that. I'm never prepared. It always catches me off guard. They do such a good job with that. Yo, that's real interesting if they do this point of view from the medic because it's showing how bad yeah. this battle was going to be. So it's showing us this medic because it's showing how many people got hurt. You know? Hey, babe. Where the hell are we? This way. I don't like it. The hell is their battalion? Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, I. Man. Go, go. Tyson! Come on, speed him up! I'm moving! Yo, he was hot. That was his hole. But that's like crazy to think about. Like being under the snow like that. No aid station, nothing. Just me and my buddy. Sorry, guys, but we just can't help you. 
Like, no, because like something sounded like it was about to just fall on them. That's why I flinched like that. So this is the third battalion, by the way, that they're at, right? Oh. Hey, hey, Eugene, Lieutenant Dyke's got a full AK. Try him. Yeah, I'm sure he's not using his. Nah. Maybe Hinkle's got a ride for you. Feature Strudel. Hey, Hinkle, Winkle, eat the armpit, huh? <laughs> why do you keep making fun of Lieutenant Dyke? <laughs> you mean the medic? No, they were making. They were saying where's. They were saying get try try your thing. Lieutenant Dyke. Oh, that's the one. That's oh, okay. That's him. Cause remember he said he's not going anywhere. Yeah. What happens if I get hit? Cause he do seem like a scaredy <laughs> cat. I'm not gonna lie. Like we're in a respectful war way. Like not to disrespect them. Hey, listen. I need to know whether you kept your morphine from Holland. No, you asked me already. Remember? Hey. Oh, and uh, you better check on Joe Toy out in the OP. He's missing something. It's so crazy. We're we're like the medics. Yeah. <laughs> we're in his POV right now. We're like tr we're seeing what they go through. They do a lot of traveling throughout the yeah. battlefield. Like that's they crazy. Definitely do. This is actually a more dangerous job than I thought. That's what that's what I said. You guys okay? I got hop food. Can you smell it? Tell you missing something. Home. You have to get the dance. <laughs> you said you missing something at home. <laughs> and also, you realize how none of them shot back, right? Cause they don't seem like they have any weapons. You yeah. peep that? Yeah, they probably don't want to waste their ammo. That's a good catch. You're probably right. Well, what happened? I took them off, dry my goddamn socks. They got blown to hell. Okay. Well, what's your size? Nine. Just like everybody else. <laughs> Wait, that's the emphasis. I'm not about to miss. He said nine, just like everybody else. I could be wrong, but I heard in war. Like, they, it don't matter about your shoe size. They just give you any shoes. And people used to get, like, feet fungus and, like, really messed up feet. I still got the itch. Every time I pee, it's murder. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, but I just don't have penicillin for your Peru. What? Lieutenant. You know what's interesting with all this? Like, all these people being out in war. And there's a lot. Trench foot. The boot size and the trench foot have a correlation. It's called trench foot. You get it. It's called it's called trench foot. It's like when your feet get real messed up, muddy, dirty, like really messed up feet, basically. I was saying how how every time the medic is going around, they're asking for a whole bunch of different stuff. <laughs> and it's like he literally has nothing. He can't help them. Oh my gosh. Gosh. Guys, you're getting a Jeep. Oh, come on, talk. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wow. I can make it. I can make it safe. Okay. All right, let's get him out of here. Oh, low. No, that is. No, 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 no. That just made my legs. Ugh. I know, like, you felt it in your leg, right? I always feel like that when I see stuff like that. I'm not going on. That looks like, out of everything that's been happening so far, this one looks like the absolute worst. Yeah. Yeah, watch the leg. Get him in. Mm -mm -mm. It looks like the, the worst conditions they've been in. Yeah. Yeah, and it's definitely because of, you know, the the uh like, the weather conditions. Right. And I and I'm pretty sure I'm not tripping, but it seemed like they haven't even like shot back. It looked like they're just trying to like protect themselves and not get hit, you know? Hey, what's going on here? Why ain't these men evacuate? We can't evacuate, we're cut off. This is as far as it goes. They're cut off. Yo, everything is horrible in this episode. They're surrounded, they're cut off. They're they getting no fired supplies. on. Wow. No supplies. The fog, so they can't even see on the front line, past the front line. What's what's this? Uh, from the bed. What sheets? Yes, the bandages. Okay. Oh wow. They're using sheets from the bed as bandages. I'm not completely surprised because they all struggling out here. Oh, this is horrible. We're just we, 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 we guys. We're gonna be saying that the whole episode. This is horrible. Eugene. Chocolate. 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 Nice little treat. Nice little treat. She I mean, she's she should be nice. Based on what's going on, that's the best he can get. Uh-huh. And that's the least she could do. Ah. Okay. Go. 
Yeah. Wow. Oh wow. Damn. I guess like do I feel like is he thinking about like hope hoping like they don't call him? He's thinking about being out there and helping them. But the sar sergeant told him to stay back. Yeah. So he's probably like, yo, I should have went. Suppressing fire! Suppressing fire! Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my. I did not think it was that big. That, oh my gosh. That looks horrible. And I know it's like, because if the medic was there, he probably could have helped, you know? No, nah, I don't know, bro. That is not a good. That is not a good. Dang! And that must suck for the sergeant too, because he told yeah. him to go out there. Easy CP, easy CP, lightning over. I need an A chief standing by the CP. I sure, I sure. Okay, got you, chief doc. Oh my gosh, the table. Well, the bed sheet bandages. We gotta go get him, sir! Did you hit an OP or they're lying? They're lying, sir! We gotta go back, sir! Get Julian out of there! No, fall back! Yo, you can... And it's crazy how that, um, that bed sheet cloth is not helping at all whatsoever. Because it's leaking right back through. <clears throat> we couldn't get them, Captain. We tried, babe, tried. We couldn't get them. Dang, Winter's probably gonna have to go out there himself and implement <laughs> his. No, for real though. Probably. Show me. Let me. Let me see it. Ooh. What in the world? My man is barefoot. Massage your feet, change socks every day, and dry the wet ones around your neck. Do it. Working on it. No, oh, that's horrible. It looked like his foot is literally dead. You gotta be so supportive in this position, bro. Because he's going around and everybody's dealing with something different. Yeah. And you gotta know how to manage each of these situations the yeah. best. Your grandma did that? <sighs> you shit me. I remember she used to pray a lot. <laughs> yeah, I guess she had to. I'm still trying to figure why they picked me for a medic. <laughs> uh... I mean, I don't I'm know. <laughs> I'm not saying being a medic is it hard, <clears throat> but you know, you're not as targeted the same way like when you're a soldier. But and the and the medic we're following, I for some reason I don't know how I don't know his name. Do you know his name? The medic we're following. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot. He has like a more personal connection to being one. Yeah, you can and, and helping people. Yeah, like you, he has like that natural like response to it. I was talking about the story he just said too about his grandma. That's yeah. why I said personal connection. Dang right! As soon. That's not supplies. Oh. Yeah, that's not. That's not. Maybe it was Maybe. their planes. Supplies. It's dropped. Drop, come on! Oh wow! Yo, they needed this drop. If I saw this and I was dumb, I'd be rejoicing, man. I feel happy for them right now. That's like that, like say, that's saving our I'm not lives gonna lie, right now. It looked pretty cool the way they look. They dropping was dropping down, down, down like that. Lie, it did look pretty cool. Yeah, but why was they? Why, why were they shooting at them like that? The artery. Gotta find the artery. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I don't know how you can watch that. Do you think you could be a doctor? You mean nurse? Or a nurse? No. <sighs> Did he die? Yeah. Cause I'm like, I'm not gonna lie, whatever it looked like they was doing, I don't think it was like They were trying to stop the bleeding him yeah. him bleeding and you know lack of supplies it, and stuff. You know, it, it you it, it requires some sort of force, but they you know, you can't sometimes you can't always save him. He better not do anything to her. Why are we doing anything to her? Look at the way he's looking at her. He's mad that he just died. Why would he be mad at her? 
I don't know, but I'm just saying. I'm just reacting to what I'm seeing. It's nothing they could. It's, it's nothing they could do. That's just a natural reaction. Yeah. The black girl. The Congo. Oh wow. How'd you get here? You know, I was wondering that too. I'm like, that's the first black person I saw this entire show. She came all the way from the Congo to help. You can tell too, like that his, that medic really is. There is something based on following his storyline. It is something so much more different about like how he's really trying. You know how genuine he is and like naturally caring. You know, not just looking at it as his job. I never want to treat another wounded man again. <laughs> I'd rather work in a butcher's shop. But your touch calms people. She probably remind him of his grandma. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was just about to say that. Nerd! We need some help over here! Hmm. Mm. I really do like how they're emphasizing on like his real life like circumstances. If you get what I'm saying, like real like I like how they're showing his faith and how who he was before he came to war. If Kinda you know what like, I'm saying? Yeah, like showing us little hints of it. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it, may, it it only makes sense because you see how much he how much effort he's putting into helping people. Yeah. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Let's go. Right, come on, let's go. Okay. Go. You know what? His name definitely is Eugene. I heard it so many times, but I did, just didn't realize. How are they supposed to stop tanks, bro? Take it easy. My fossil, get the plasma now. Here they come. Oh. How are they supposed to top, stop tanks? You gotta get the hell out of here. I would, oh my, bro, I would almost go as far as to say it's pointless. What? At this point, helping people, but it's so. I mean, I would. I know, I know, yeah. but it's like, it's like, bro, what else can you do? They're getting attacked right now, trying to help someone and drag them off the line. Because you don't want to lose people that can later come back out. Look, I'll get you another purple heart for it. Hey! It's like they're practically performing an entire surgery in the middle of war. That's like so, like just wow. It will almost make me feel like what I'm doing is so pointless. I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand how Eugene feels. Yeah. Going back and forth, helping these people on the line, off the line, on the line, off the line, and while then, they're getting raided by tanks and shot over yeah. and over again. You know, I know he's doing his it's job. Like the guy's paralyzed though. Well, yeah, he said he can't feel his feet, but. I know he's doing his job, but like still. Dude, I, I definitely get your. Um, I know. Though. I know. Eugene. I don't know. You can tell how upset and sad it makes him feel, just watching them just die like that. Are you right? They it are, seems like every time like they're out in the battle, it don't seem like they're advancing. No, they're ho they're holding the line. Okay. They're supposed to be holding this yeah. line, but it's they're like getting how, bombarded right. over and over like they and over need again. More, they need more men, more equipment, more, you know. And they got cut off, so it's not like they can retreat all the way back or something. I think that's yeah. what they said. Man. Jim McAuliffe wishes us all a Merry Christmas. What's merry about all this, you ask? Well, it's Christmas. This does suck to swing your Christmas like this. We're giving our country and our loved ones at home a worthy Christmas present. And being privileged to take part in this gallant feat of arms, we're truly making for ourselves a Merry Christmas. Michael, I thought it was going to be something like... You know, something know. good. Yeah. But <laughs> because if it, I'm being it, honest, yeah, Merry Christmas, but get out of here, bro. Like Merry Christmas. Really? Yeah. I'm feeling how Eugene feeling right now. You see him staring like bro, I'm like, nah. This ain't Merry at all. 
And <coughs> ain't nothing merry about that. And Captain Winters noticed too. Yeah. I can say now you can definitely see him more like zoning out, if you get what I'm saying. He seems like more like out of it. They just, they right there. Yeah, they are. They're right there. They're right across the field. It'd be that close. Like, it's so crazy. Like, they're so close, but you just, like, they could be here for, they're, they're here for days. She's, she's finished with me. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Buck was talking about him maybe promising his wife or girl, whatever that yeah, he was gonna be back. By he's gonna be back by Christmas. And it's like, and it's he ain't back, so that's why he was saying she's done with him. You out of your mind? Oh, we're in a dell, huh? Yeah, immediately, immediately. And it's like I don't, I don't want to say it's exact because he had a fire out, but. It's definitely, I understand like they're both like they're resting, but I was definitely thinking about like, what if they just decided to take this and ambush? Like, what if they just ambush? He them? was telling them to put the fire out, and what's wrong with Eugene? He's like froze up now. He was asleep, bro. <sighs> Scratch here. Not getting out of here this easy. Jeep's on its way. Hand tough. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Honestly, that, like, I just, every time I see it, I just, mm. Eugene, get yourself into town. Get a hot meal. Oh, okay. He He's trying to give him a break. Yeah, yeah. I think he noticed. He noticed something is off. See all that that's going on up there? What is going on up there? It looks like they're attacking Wait, the town. Wait, I'm about to say, this is the right, this is above where... This is the town that they were in. <laughs> um, and that's, I think that's literally the building they usually go like 10 the people at. This is horrible. Yo, they not get, they're not giving them no breaks. It's just ambush after ambush after ambush. Oh wow, hope it's not anybody he see. Maybe it's, oh, I was suck. Is it the girl there? See, it's, it has to be somebody because why else would he just be standing there? No, 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 it's terrible. no. No! Get your ass out here! Mm. This the first time watching is actually making me tear up. Yeah, I, I definitely see why. That's horrible. They, they uh, they definitely explain how this episode and just overall, like this whole episode of them trying to hold off and hold the line, and it's like like the Germans are literally like blowing them up. That's the worst thing. Not only lose someone, but lose someone that you have grown a connection with and yeah. sat down and talked with. Especially during these times, yeah. And then you just, and then. I'll fix it up. Oh, yeah, that happened when he at first I got up. What is that? Oh, it must have been acting or something. Damn. The oh, symbolism man. in this episode is crazy. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. Use it her thing. He's using the thing. I don't for think her. he's gonna use it. Oh, First, I didn't think he was. On December 26, 1944, General Patton's Third Army broke through the German lines, allowing supplies to flow in and the wounded to evacuate. Sorry. The story of the the Battle of the Bulge, as told today, is one of one of Patton coming. Is one is one of Patton coming to the rescue of the encircled 101st. 101st Airborne. No member of the 101st has ever agreed that their division needed to be rescued. 
Wow. Maybe that. that maybe that's why it was emphasizing a lot on the medic. Like showing it from the medic's point of view. I mean, we know they broke the we we know eventually they didn't show it, but they broke the German line. So they did advance. I think I that's what it just said, but, but the I'm fact that they still, didn't ask right. for help or say they did the, the whole time the the they didn't they didn't say they needed rescue shows what what, what adjective you can use to describe them like brave the, uh this one definitely showed like more of emphasis of like them being resilient of like what's going on that's the so, word i was looking for resilient. their resilience that's a good word too shows resilience within them yeah it definitely was sad though. Like it was yeah, something no, about that, that ending something kinda about me up, something yo. about like that medic. It definitely it it makes you think about it in in such a different way, you know? Like that they showed it. You from actively his perspective. right, like actively trying to help people and you know, make sure they don't die and tend it to them in the middle of war and then all he could really think about maybe is like, wow, like I can't even save all these people. That's probably yeah. what he was thinking about when he was sitting there froze like that for some parts. He was probably like, yo, like I really can't, like I'm trying my best. Yeah. Well, we don't know what he was thinking about, but let us know. But our, you know. But also, like I feel like they definitely talk about his faith and also like even that um like the relationship he had with the French girl. I think she was French because she spoke French. She was most likely French. Yeah. Something about like their conversation and him talking about his grandma also show like I feel like that's like his net like it's like he was meant to do what he's doing, you know? And maybe kinda like realizing and probably wishing like he could do more or like really wishing like he could just touch the people and they would just be healed right there and then. And that that's a great pickup. Because he that and that's why he liked that girl so much. Yeah. Because he saw that in her. Yeah. And then they also, while he was talking to the other medic, they were. Uh, I don't know. I'm really not sure what his name was, but he was like, I don't know why I got picked as a medic. Yeah. That was also emphasizing on Eugene of how much of a, you know, what I'm saying how yeah, much like he, of, he's meant to be in yeah. that role even more. He showed a lot of compassion, you know. So yeah. Yeah, yeah he did. Swing through that tile when a guy was yeah. And then that ending, y'all, that messed me up. I'm not gonna lie. It did. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna fake it to y'all. I did. I'm not gonna lie. It's just because, like, like out of everything, you know? Yeah. When she had nothing to do with it, I didn't think they would do that. I didn't think they would. Well, yeah, I didn't I didn't expect... think she was gonna, you know what I'm saying? I didn't think that well, was gonna happen. Well, at first, I didn't really, like, expect them to bomb over there. I know. That was so crazy. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. That was definitely like insane, but yeah, this 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 episode was definitely like really emotional. Like so far, one of the most emotional episodes I watched so far in the series. So yeah, but it was it was still good, and I like what the story is building up to, and I like what I'm learning and seeing. So okay, nothing else to say about the episode. Yeah, the perspective was really nice of, of the medic, like we said. We hope you guys enjoyed our reaction to this very emotional episode and we're looking forward to the next one we will see y'all on the next, next one, one. perfect